Hello everyone, my name is Jens Møller Pedersen, Associate Professor at Aalborg University. I would like to welcome you to the Future Internet Opportunities course that we are giving as part of the Colibri project. It's an international course with students and teachers from seven different European universities where you will be working on real-world problems from three enterprises who are also part of our consortium. You will be working in groups composed across nationalities and disciplines. On the map here you can see that we have universities and companies from pretty much all over Europe, from Norway, Latvia, Poland, Turkey, Spain, just to, main, just to mention a few of them. Um, so why do we do this? Well, we need new teaching methods in Europe. We are seeing that we are in increasing the number of students, so we are receiving more students with different backgrounds than before. And not only uh, do we have more students, we also see a, a larger diversity among our students with respect to culture, with respect to learning styles, with respect to background. This means that we need to develop more personalized teaching methods so you can learn what is relevant for you, uh, the way you learn it the most efficient. And in order to do this personalized teaching, we need a new and more innovative teaching methods. And this is what we are trying to develop in this course. Hopefully this can lead to students who are more ready for the labor market and who are able to collaborate across nationalities, cultures and technical disciplines, something that we know the companies are very interested in. The way we try to achieve it is that our institutions are working and experimenting together on joint learning activities like the Colibri course. So we are not only doing this because it's very good, but we are also doing it in order to gain experience and become even better in the future. And not only should we become better, because part of the Colibri course is to ensure a systemic and lasting impact, both within our organizations and beyond. So hopefully what we learn from working with you guys is something that we can use in order to also uh, um, learn other universities what works and what doesn't work. So we are implementing the new and innovative te teaching as joint learning activities, so we're doing this together. We're establishing a living lab of students from different universities. And in fact, you are our living lab. Um, and this course is our living lab and we really hope you will help us. It's also a learning process for us. So we need your help with comments, feedback, suggestions and ideas. So whenever you, you experience something which you feel is really good or something that can become uh, better if we do it differently, please let us know because we try to learn from it. Um, when we are talking about the teaching methods, um, what we are really trying to do is to try to, to use blended learning, where blended learning is a mix of virtual and physical activities. So it's not an online course and it's not an offline course, but we try to use uh, online elements in a way or virtual elements in a way that makes good sense and that support the, the physical activities that we have. Much of the online material is based on short video lectures and quizzes where you get instant feedback and you will also find small assignments and mini projects. Um, when you get to the advanced modules, you will find that in some of the modules we are experimenting also with peer learning where you are collaborating together or for example correcting the task from each other in order to learn through each other. We know this is very efficient but it's also a new way for us to do it by doing it uh, virtually and by having students working together where they're not physically present and actually don't physically know each other. But we hope it will work out well and we look forward to, to see the experiences we get. Um, after the seminar we have, after our first seminar in Istanbul, you will be working on projects and these projects are based on real problems and posed by the companies who are in the consortium and you will be working in international and inter interdisciplinary groups in fact you will know the groups from the beginning of the course because you will also need to work together on some of the course elements um, then we have the course organization um, first of all we have the virtual kickoff that is um, on february 16 then there is a period of studying the course modules based on online teaching material um, but it also includes to some level interaction with teachers and other students. 
Um, we have our midway seminar in Istanbul in April from the 18th to the 22nd uh, to finish the course modules and to start the project work. Please be aware here that probably you will need to travel down the day before on the 17th and go back home on the 23rd, but if you want to stay a couple of days more, that should be doable. Um, there will then, after the seminar in Istanbul, be a period of virtual collaboration on the projects um, where you're working in, in the groups. And finally, the project seminar in Barcelona in July from the 11th to the 15th, um, where again we recommend you to set out uh, to reserve a day also for traveling before and a day afterwards also for traveling. We'll be using two different platforms. Uh, so we'll be using Moodle as the platform for online uh, learning material or basically for all the um, academic content. And then we'll be using Facebook for more practical informations. And the reason for using Facebook is basically this is uh, used by many of you already. And it's a super fast way to get information out on all different devices. Um, so far we haven't found anything better and that's why we we use it again. And what you will need for now is to follow the introductory part of each of the modules by March 9. Um, we hope to be able to give you access to Moodle very soon. We still need uh, the last couple of names in order to get the registrations in place, but then we should be flying. Um, by March 9, you will select with your group mates who will follow which basic and advanced modules and we do this in order to ensure that we have a good coverage. So in each group, there will be a fairly good no good knowledge of of all different aspects of the project. And this is something that will depend on both your current backgrounds and what you will what you will learn in the course. Um, and I will facilitate this. So we will organize a meeting for each group where you will decide on which who will follow which which modules. Then by April four, all basic modules should be done. And by April 16, all advanced modules should be finished. You as a student will need to choose four basic modules. And out of these four, you will need to choose two who you will follow on the advanced level. Um, you should be, be before making this choice, uh, you will be able to follow the introductory modules. So you get an idea about what the different modules are all about. And um, just to make it clear, then you are expected to spend around one hour for the introductory module um, per, per topic, uh, five hours on the basic modules and 10 hours on the advanced modules. So the module that you follow as advanced, you will basically be spending 16 hours because you both spend one hour for the introduction, five hours on the basic and 10 hours on the advanced part of that module. Um, I will not go through the learning objectives in details, but I think it's important that you take some time to study them. What is important to state here is that uh, this is not a solely technical course. You, so you will be you will learn both about future internet and both technical, social, and business perspectives. You will learn about different kind of disciplines that are involved. This is what you get in the modules, and you will have skills in exploring these uh, opportunities by using them in, in real life. So that is basically the projects. What is also important is that actually it's part of the learning objective. So it's part of what you will learn and it's part of what you will have to show in the exam that you are able to work together in teams across scientific areas, countries and cultures and to bring your knowledge into play in this context. The reason for stating this is that we know it will take time. It is not easy. It's not straightforward, but it's a very important thing to be able to do uh, this collaboration in the teams. So when you feel that things are going too slow or it's difficult or there is a potential conflict, this is really part of what you have to learn in this course. So it's not just an annoyance. Um, you can also check out the learning goals for the different modules in the web page here. Uh, and, and here you can also find the student guide with more information. You should all have received it, but uh, it doesn't harm to take a look at it again. And then, as I mentioned before, we'll be using Moodle for academic information and we'll be using Facebook for more practical information. Uh, the different modules of the course, I will not go through them in detail, 
but um, take a look as soon as you get Moodle access and then take them one by one and uh, see which uh, yeah both to learn from it but also to consider which you'll find to be more interesting to take for the for the basic and advanced modules about the organization of the course um, first of all, we have our Erasmus Plus funding for all travel and substance, substance cost. So that means that we will cover flight tickets, accommodation and meals. Um, and meals only for the course days. Um, and there will also be a few costs that we might not be able to cover. For example, metro tickets and so on. Uh, and it's not even because we cannot cover them, but because the administration of having so many uh, small uh, tickets and small receipts is uh, unbearable um, so we will by and large we'll be able to cover all the all the expenses but you might have to cover for example the metro tickets and transport so on from the airport and if you want to go out in the evening and have a beer that will also be on your own expense but you should will pretty much cover everything we have tried to keep the cost low to make it free for all to participate so we don't require any fees for participation uh, and just to give you an idea of what we have, then our budget is 55 euros per day per student. So it's not a lot of money, but usually we, we get a lot of uh, we get a lot of it, out of it. But this is just to set the expectations. Um, we'll take care of all the bookings of accommodation, meals and flights. Um, yeah, as I said before, please be prepared to travel the day before the course starts. So when the course starts on a Monday, then uh, Sunday will be the travel day. And be prepared to leave the day after the course ends, which is on, uh, yeah, so if the course is ending on Friday, be prepared to go home on Saturday. If you want to stay in some of the cities for some extra days at your own expense, this is usually possible. We just need to know it before we, we book the flights. It's important to say that it is a condition for the Erasmus Plus funding that you are all staying throughout the course. So please don't plan that you need to go home um, Friday or that you can only arrive on Tuesday because then we uh, then we don't get any Erasmus uh, support um, for your participation. And that is basically what makes it possible for us to do the course. It's also important to say that it's uh, uh, that you need to remember to have your own travel insurance. And I know that many of us have this uh, um, the blue European insurance card, uh, but that does not uh, cover in Turkey because Turkey is not a part of the European Union. So please check up on your travel insurance. Usually it's not uh, uh, very expensive, but it's your own responsibility to have the insurances in place. Um, then just to, uh, yes, let's uh, walk through the different uh, phases of the course. We have the virtual kickoff today where you will be meeting each other for the first time and we have a small competition. Um, then there is the first part, which is the virtual part uh, with the course modules, which is mainly based on online studies, videos, quizzes and peer learning activities. Um, we have a midway seminar in Istanbul where all teachers and students will be together for five days. The picture here is from last year and uh, I, uh, and I, our um, Turkish uh, coordinators, they did a very, very good job in organizing five good days. So I can truly say that you can look forward to it. Um, here you will be finishing the course modules. Um, you will have the opportunity to learn more about teamwork. And this is more of a fun exercise from last year, but there will also be different kind of exercises and different lectures. Um, you will be starting on the real world problems and make a plan for how to continue in the in the following weeks where you are not able to work together physically but have to do it online and of course there will also be time to explore Istanbul together. Then there is a period of time with virtual project collaboration and um, this is uh, by and large self-organized. We are supporting you by giving you some templates and providing you some uh, ways of working together. And of course, you will also have support from your supervisors and from the companies. And the supervisors and companies, you will also be meeting them in in, uh, in Istanbul so they can help you with the, with the planning of the time. Uh, finally, we'll be meeting again in Barcelona in July to finish the projects. 
to prepare presentation skills because this is what you will need for the exam and of course also to have the exam. The exam, um, it's important to say that it's a pass-fail exam and it's based on first that you will give a presentation of your project. Um, this is done in front of everyone uh, and then there will be a, a questioning sessions where you can receive questions from the teachers uh, but also questions from the audience and then we will make an individual assessment for each of you. If you have taken active part in making the course and if you are taking active part in the presentation and answering the questions, then you should be pretty fine. Um, but, uh, but it is, of course, an exam. And the exam is held on the last day of the project seminar. Um, in addition to being a normal exam, this is also the place where you can get feedback from the participating companies so they can uh, so they can help you in making it uh, uh, yeah that you to ensure that you actually learn something from it um, then at the end of the seminar what is important is that we have the evaluations actually we also have the evaluations from the midway seminar because the evaluations are super important for us because this is what helps us in, imp in improving it for last year and the whole reason for having this kickoff seminar uh, for having this um, this living lab and this course is that we should learn from it so the evaluations are very important and we hope you will help us with it here i have put up a, a, a timeline just to refresh it and show it in a more graphical way you can also find the the figure in the i think in the student guide um, and what you see is that uh, f the first, uh, from the kickoff to the midway seminar, the focus is on the different modules um, with the introductory parts, the basic levels and the adv advanced levels. Then we meet in Istanbul and from Istanbul to Barcelona, the focus will be on the product work. Um, um, we have some templates for the product work and there is a minimum of three supervisor meetings before we are meeting again in in Barcelona and before meeting in Barcelona we'll also ask you to upload pre preliminary product presentations so that we can take uh, take them as a starting point and you will need to upload them one week before the product seminar but that is something we'll get back to for now the most important is the deadlines regarding the different modules uh, for the final remarks we hope you will have a fun experience with the course I think it's a very good opportunity to uh, to work together with people from different places and to travel and see a bit of Europe and to create friendships and network um, with uh, students from all over Europe. Um, so we hope you will also learn a lot, of course. Um, since it is a, li a living lab, and I think I already said it three times, but I'll repeat it, it's important for us um, that we get your feedback and your comments whenever you have it. Uh, so there will be a lot of evaluations, but but even on top of that, you're welcome to get back to us. If you have any questions, please get in touch, either with me or your local coordinator, and you're almost always welcome, of course, to to get in touch with me. So thank you very much for attending this presentation, and see you very soon, in uh, virtually, and in Istanbul and in Barcelona. Thanks.